Hello everybody, welcome back again. Today, I haven't finished this one actually, but what I've been doing, and then I thought why not do a video on it, um, I've made a very multi-bite Turk's head knot to go around my hat. And as I was doing it, I thought, okay, I want to enhance my hat, but then why not show you on a video? So basically, in today's little video, I'm going to show you how to tie a Turk's head knot around your hat. And as you can see here, it's multiple bites and it's two passes on each one. On, on sorry, two passes on the actual Turk's head itself. But what we can do is, if you wanted to, you could make it three passes so that it's just a little bit wider than this one. So what I thought was, let's undo this again and I will show you what I'm doing to put a nice Turk's head band around my hat. And to be honest, it's fairly easy to do. If you can do the bracelet, previously I did a bracelet on the Turk's head knot, and it's very similar to doing that as well. It's basically an endless Turk's head that will pass around my hat, and once again, also with this one, all measurements used will be at the end of the video so that you can actually make it yourself. And just remember, it's a Turk's head, it is called Hungry. So let's get on and actually make the Turk's head um, hat band itself. So let's get knotting and I'll see you on the other side. So Bye. I've got my whole long length of string. And don't forget, once again, at the end of the video, there will be measurements for you that you can use. And so what I'm gonna do is just take out enough from my ball um, to actually start tying this knot. Now, if you remember, there's my, oh, so difficult. There's my standing end. And I'm gonna take my working end and just let me get some more string out. And so, right, so there's my standing end, standing end there, and I'm gonna take my working end and I'm gonna cross it over and then go round my hat, like so, but it has to go underneath, parallel to the other cord there, and then come up on the right hand, on, sorry, on the left hand side there, so you can see my lead's gone round there, it's gone round the back, gone parallel, and it's crossed over at that point there, and here's my working end coming over again, and the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna move the hat around a bit, squash it down a bit, because the next thing I want to do is, I want to come over this lead here, the left hand lead, and go underneath the right hand lead like so, and without it all being pulled apart or falling to bits. So I'm just gonna pull it all through now. Well, I'm, my standing end's going, my string's all over the place. So what I'm gonna do is just pull that through like so. Whoop. Just be very careful as you do it. It's all coming through. Okay, and as you can see, there is a lot of cord used in this. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna go around twice or three passes. So you can see here now, if I just gently put the hat back into shape, you can see now that my cord is crossed at this point here. There's my standing end. So let's show you that. There's my standing end. It's going underneath that one, round, and then over the next one. And then this one is sitting in the middle, even though it's just slightly crossed over there, it's sitting in the middle. So the next thing I'm going to do now, now this is my starting shape that I want, or size. Well, not really, because what I want to do now is I want to make it just that little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is just gently coax my leads around so that I've got, I can put about, let's see, let's make sure that's right down there. So I can put about four fingers behind my cordage and then just bring that up because I want to keep that shape just there. And then the next thing I'm going to do, this time I'm actually going to tape it, I'm going to tape that shape into place at that point. So if you look at that, where am I? There. I'm going to tape it just across there, so all these ones here, where they're crossing over, 
will remain as they are. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Get the tape that is. Right, so as you can see, what I've done is, where all the crossing points were, I have now, I put my four fingers underneath it and I've put masking tape on just to hold it all together nice and loosely so that we can, you can do this in situ, you don't need to take it off. I just find it a little bit easier if we take it off the hat so the brim's not in the way. So I take it off the hat and you can see now here, this is my basic shape of my work. Okay, so there we go. And now I've got my leads coming out from this point here. I've got my three leads. This one is my working end and these two are the loops of the hat itself. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the left hand loop here underneath the right hand one. So they're crossing over at this point here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is pass my working end through that crossover point. So it's going over and under. And so let's, let's now just gently pull that through. Oh, don't you hate it when you pull the wrong one? Okay, just gently pull it through. And just hold it with my left hand there at that point. Okay, so there we go. And there's miles of it, okay? So hold it there at that point. And you can now see where I was holding it at that point, we have a natural crossover. So what I wanna do is just keep it in a straight line. This one here is my working end, which just passed through that loop we created there. So the next thing I want to do is, you can see here, I've got a natural crossing point. So what I wanna do is just bring it over one and under one, and then bring it out the left-hand side. So there we go, bring it out the left-hand side like so. Now the thing is, when we're doing this, don't pull it up too tight to start with. Don't have the weave too tight because we've got to do a couple of passes on it yet. And that is crucial when it comes to actually doing it because it's all gonna tighten itself up later on. And what you don't want to end up with is a, is a very tight Turk's head to play with. Okay, so there we go. And you can see here now, this is my working. So there's my one loop two loops and that's my working end. So the next thing we're gonna do exactly the same again. We pass the left one underneath the right one like so. There we have a hole to poke our cord through. So we're gonna take the working end and pass it through that gap there. I'm gonna hold that crossing point there and then just gently pull it through. And when you hit yourself with a knife, you know it hurts. I don't know if it was sharp side or not, but you can see there, it's now pulling through. Loads and loads to come through. And I've picked up some debris on the way, so get the debris out of the way. And you can see here now that there we go, we've done one more. So I'm just gonna pull that crossing point over just that little bit more. I don't want it too tight. Remember, too tight is wrong. And now once again, there's my crossing point. That so let's show you. There's my crossing point. That's my working end there going underneath that one. So the next thing we want to do is take it over one, like so, under the other one and out the outside. And that's all we do, all the way around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carry on and do a little bit more of that. And then I'll see you on the other side when I get close to the beginning again. So just take that through. Right, so as you can see, I've just got to my last little bit here and I'm coming out here on the right hand side there. So it's coming out underneath there. And so my next one is going to go over and then it's gonna follow our original end here. So if I just take this, I can take my masking tape off now that's all holding it in place. So I'll take off the masking tape and then that will then complete hopefully complete our Turk's head pattern throughout. There we go. And so you can see now here that there is my lead coming through. And so what I'm gonna do now is basically now follow the original lead around. So I'm gonna, let's see, take the original lead underneath 
and then I'm going to follow it round over the top like so. Okay, so I will now just go through through. In fact, look at that. I could actually take one more. Could I? No, that's, that's going to follow through. So I'm going to spread those out a bit, spread those out a little bit, and you can see then the Turk's head pattern is starting to form all the way around. And what I'm going to do now is just go in and tuck up through that point. So let's get my end. There's my end there. And then bring it round there next to it, like so. Pull it all through, Whoa. and then that will lock the complete Turk's head off, and then I should be able to throw it round to my heart's content without it coming Whoa. undone, he says as it's coming undone. There we go, and there we go, we're following through. So, as you can see now, we have got... Let's get all the scraggy bits out of the way. We've now got, going around here, we've got a nice decorative weave pattern. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is just bring the hat back into play again, because we just want to make sure that as we put this on, and you can see instantly, 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 it's quite a bit tighter, yeah just takes up quite a bit of, so maybe four fingers, four and a bit fingers maybe, well no, that's tight. And so you can see here now, that round our hat, we're getting that nice Turk's head pattern appearing. So what the next thing that we're going to do is, where's my start and finish? Here's my start and finish point. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm basically going to follow the original lead around, and so, Let's see, we're going to double up on this now. There's the original lead. And so what I'm going to do now is follow that all the way around so that we now double this up. Okay, so I will just start that off. Okay, so as you can see, we're up now. We've come to the start, beginning. You can see both the lines here are meeting at that particular point there in the middle. Just crushing the hat slightly. And so now where they're meeting, the next thing I'm going to do is... I'm basically going to follow round. So now this one here is going to follow round and go parallel to this original one. So let's just take that through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that round there and go up there and just basically double up. So I can take it off my hat again because it still fits. It's all the right size. And now let's see get my end, find the other end. Right, so there's the lead for one end. There's the lead for one end. That is where they're crossing over at that point there. So the next thing I want to do is get the end and then follow that lead round and pass it through that gap there to follow that. So I'll just find the end. There's not as much cord as there used to be, but there's still enough. And you can see here now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the original lead all the way around. So basically, it, there's the, that's the original lead there. And I'm going to come up to the right-hand side of that and stay on the right-hand side of that original lead all the way around. So there's one end. Pull that through like so. And you'll then see that we're starting to double up on our cords. Don't pull it too tight, because too tight, just pull it, stretch it. And now you can see it's following, it's following that one there. So I have now got to go underneath. So I'm going over that one there, under that one there to follow it round. So I've got my end there and I'll just tuck it under and then start to pull it through. And just hold it so that it doesn't pull out of shape. 
and pull through all your excess. I'll just do that one and then we should have been all right with that. We can, we've completed. Okay, so there you go. So they, I'm starting to, you can see there, I'm starting to double round. All, all I'm gonna do now is just follow that lead there. So I'm gonna go over that one, under that one, and come out at that point there. And that's all I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna work my way all the way round, and then I'll get, come back to you when I've completed a circuit. Okay, for you it's only a second later, but for me it's quite a bit later. I've been sat on in front of the television, and as you can see, already one of the leads here has doubled up, but I still have to go around two more times to double these leads up. And you can see now, there is my beginning, there is my end, so I am now just in the process of, I'm still following the original lead, and I'm gonna follow it around here, there, to that point there, or all the way around, let's say, until I've completed two complete passes with my um, pattern on the Turk's head. But you can see here now that the pattern itself is already there. And if I get my hat, let's get my hat again, because that's the next thing to check, is just make sure that it still fits over my hat. And the answer is, Yes, it's quite snug, it's fitting over my hat, and you can see, just gently tease it down, and you can see now here that that is starting to fall into place quite nicely. So you need, when you first start it, you need a good four fingers, perhaps a little bit more of gap, just because the amount of cord you use takes up all that excess space. So what I'm going to do is just take that off again, watch a bit more television, and then as I'm watching the television, I'm going to go round, let's see, where's my, there's my lead there, and basically I'm going to go round and just follow that around there. So if I just do this one here, just to show you again, so it's going round there, over those two, under that one, so I'm just going to follow that through, and be very, very careful that you don't, So as you can see, I've gone round again, I've doubled up everything except for the last, very last lead here. And you can see that's, let's see, where's my cord? I've lost my cord. There it is. Okay, so my cord now is finally following that last lead round to do a full circuit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, I, once again, for you it'll be seconds, for me, I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna do my final circuit here until we meet up at the beginning again. Okay, so I'll be, oh, let's also check to see if it actually fits the hat still, because that is the crucial piece. And yes, I can see here, just gently tease it over. Yeah, I've still got room around there. Run my fingers round. Yeah, and you can see here now that we're starting to get a really nice looking effect on the hat. Okay, so I will go around and go for a next pass and then come back to you again on that one. Right, so as you can see, I have now doubled up everywhere. I've got, it's doubled up on every single of all my three leads here now. And basically what I've done is I've now got to the point here where, let's just, whoops. Okay, where I've now joined up again. And so now this is the outside of the strap. So the next thing I really need to do is I need to bring my leads down to the inside of the actual hat band itself. And then what I'm gonna do is I will finish it off. But before I do that, I just want to check and make sure one last time that this fits. So what I'll do is just get my hat again. It's always, you know, just check, check, check make sure it fit and once again it's just that little bit tighter so just be aware of that when you're doing this you know having the distance is or the, the gap initially is the right thing and yet so it looks to me like the actual four fingers in my hat and there we go just put that round tease it into place shape my hat up again and you can see now there there you go. 
I'm not sure if that's going on. Let's. It's not quite in focus. So get it down lower, and you can see there now. I've got a nice hat band there. So let's just take that off again. So take it off. Now the next thing I'll do is, what I'm going to do is I will cut off my leads. I mean the answer is as well is this one is just two passes. So on all three leads here I've just done two passes so it's one two, one two, one two on there on all three leads. But what I could do is if I wanted to I could actually with my lead here carry on and do a third pass if I want a wider band. But I think, to be honest, this is sufficient. So the next thing I'll do is I'll just take my leads, like so, take that one there and bring it down underneath. So it's coming underneath now. And then once again, with this one, I'm going to take it, follow that one round and pass it down. So let's get find the end. So I'll find the end. Well, I've still got, I've, in fact, I actually cut enough for me to do three um, passes on this. And so I'm going to go down there and then just finally pull it through like so. Now, the thing is, normally what you do is you put this on your hat and then you gently go round and tease it up a little bit tighter so that it just looks nice and snug. But you can see here now, as, let's just do that, I've got a lovely Turk's head pattern there. Now, right, at this point here, this is where one lead comes out, this is where another lead comes out. In this particular case, because it's a hat band, I think what I would do is I would cut it off at that point there. Let's just get the knife. So I'd cut it at that point there, cut that one at that point there, and then where the two meet on the center one is probably just put a dab of glue. If you don't like glue, some people don't like using glue, you can actually stitch it together or you could actually splice it in there. And what I'll do is at a later date, I will do a video on actually how to finish off ropes, splicing um, and whipping. But in this particular case, because it's going on my hat, it's not going against my skin, I will put a dab of glue in there and a dab of glue there and so that when you turn it over you will not see it and you, it will just look just like that section there. Okay, So that is how you do a Turk's head um, on a hat, as simple as that. And so and it, uh, just a lovely little effect and if say for example you're doing this with paracord or something like that that is one hell of a mount of paracord because a Turk's head is very hang hungry when it comes to using um, cordage. So that would be a lot of paracord if you went to, into a survival situation or bush camping or something like that. You will have a lot of spare um, paracord with you. So there you go. That is making a multi-bite three-lead Turk's head for your hat. Okay, and so that's it there. Done. Okay, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. But please leave me a comment and tell me why you either loved it or hated it. 